guys, I'm back from Egypt. Queen of Ramses the second and Queen Nefertari, Nefertari, Nefertiti, Nefertari, is it Nefertari? However, they correctly pronounce it. I'm back, y'all. Um, still unpacking, as you can see, it's real. Can't get any realer than this. I uh, had a great time, dude. Egypt is amazing. Food is great, people are beautiful, the country is beautiful, culture is, it, it's just, you get everything you want in a trip. You get culture, you get the food, you get the time and relaxation, you, you get everything you need, Egypt has it. That's what I think. Um, so I honestly, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I did not vlog while I was in Egypt. Why? I just, I just couldn't find neither the time nor, I needed help, my dude. I just needed help to vlog, it is what it is. I didn't envision it would be, I even have a little tripod with me, my man, and it, I, I just couldn't, I couldn't manage, um, I couldn't manage to vlog. It is what it is. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to lie about it. I could not manage to vlog. It got so hot some days, I thought I was going to faint. That's how hot it was. It was over 100 degrees, easy, but it was this dry heat and then the sun you felt it beating on your head and i was wearing proper attire for uh, muslim countries you know not the not the whole um abaya but you know just long sleeve um loose dresses i still managed to get a tan i watch no i watch i watch no i watch so yeah, it's right there. Can't get any clearer than that, right? So it, it was that hot. Um, I, I learned a lot. It was a, a beautiful, uh, it was a beautiful experience. Um, I even got, well, I got the hieroglyphic alphabet. <laughs> but some people, I've seen some letters uh, differ from what I have here, so. This is as exact as it's gonna be. It's only a few letters that vary, but take a look at this amazingness, dude. Isn't it awesome? I'm just blown off. I got a little cartouche myself, which you can't see because of the reflection of the sun, but it, it has my name on it. And on the back, it has the symbols of good fortune, long life, and all that good stuff. Other than that, I bought papyrus. I got papyrus paper. Um, I got uh, little presents here and there for, for my brother. I got little shirts for my daddy as well. Um, and I had a blast. I really did. Little rant though, and this is a little rant and I'm, I have to get this off of my chest. For those of you who follow me on Instagram, you already know what went down on, what is uh, Austrian Airways. Let me tell you. So I had a layover in Vienna. I was coming back to DC. So I was in Vienna, got my little Mozart chocolate and my little uh, Ritter, what are they, Ritter? Ritter Sport chocolates, my favorite. Got the yogurt ones, my favorite. Well, no, I like all Ritter, Ritter Sport chocolates. They're amazing. They're the little German square chocolate, delicious. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll get to see exactly what type of chocolate or the, the chocolate I'm talking about. But anyways, I was on my flight from Vienna to DC. This was a nine and a half hour flight. Nine and a half hours, 9.5, okay? I want you to keep that in mind, because this is what happened. I was sitting in my little seat. I had an aisle seat, why? Because I don't like bothering people to go to the bathroom. That's just me, I just wanna get up, do my business, come back, sit down. I don't mind being woken up, but I, I do honestly not like waking people up. So that is that. And I, the flight started, I was good, I was watching a movie, I was watching Tolkien. Tolkien, Tolkien. Tolkien, it's a great movie by the way. Um, and all of a sudden I feel a tap on my shoulder. I turned around, this man who's older than my father, older than my father, okay? Slipped me a little paper, let's pretend there's a paper, and gave it to me, right? 
sorry, and gave it to me. So, little Julia, right, opens the paper. You are one of the prettiest girls I've ever seen. I like your style. Would you mind giving me your contact information? No. Number one, what 70 year old man refers to a whole woman as pretty? Please explain that. Men out there in the world, please explain that. What man, 70 year old man at least, refers to a whole woman as pretty? I'm beautiful. <coughs> Sorry. I'm fine. I am gorgeous. I am magnificent. I am not pretty. Do you understand? I'm not five years old. Number two, I like your style, my dude. You have to justify the fact that I'm beautiful with, I like your style, mm, shame on you. Number three, we're, we, we're, we're, we are slipping notes here like we're in the fifth grade? Are you serious? I'm 30. I'm gonna be 31 in a few months. This is not gonna cut it. You want this? You want this? We need to go get it like a man, not like a little boy. So I said him the little, you know, no answer, right? Not that deep. A few minutes later, here comes another note. <laughs> Open the note, read the note. Honestly, I don't even remember what the note said. I, I, I just don't. But it said something along the lines of, it's a shame, I really wanna take you out um, to eat or drink. I'm going to be in DC for two weeks. Um, do you live in DC? Bitch, do you really think I'm gonna tell you if I live, I live in DC or anywhere? No is no, why do you keep on freaking insisting? Like. You, you are really making this very uncomfortable for the both of us. Wait, my mom sent me a message. Talk to you later, girl. You are really making it really uncomfortable for the both of us. So I said, um, I honestly didn't tell him I was coming to DC. I told him I was going to Mexico City. And uh, I had business there. And uh, thank you again for the compliment. But no, thank you. The note goes back. Whoop. Man takes the note, man reads the note. Julia proceeds to finish her movie or start another movie. I don't remember. Note. Julia opens a note. Her Majesty, myself, opens a note. Dude, it was around, what, four, maybe five notes that this man sent in total? I just, no. No, you, no, no, that flight was so uncomfortable. It was so uncomfortable. And, and, and when, when it got to, this man, dude, let me tell you, I was, I was surrounded by Europeans because obviously we were departing from Europe and they were either German or they were either Austrian they were speaking German, right? And this man purposely started to, when I started ignoring his freaking little taps on the back, this man purposely started going to the bathroom every 25, 30 minutes, just walk up to the bathroom. And on his way back, he all of a sudden started chatting with the people in front of me, chatting while looking right into my chest. Mind you, I, I, I had a, I had, a, I was covered, dude. I wasn't. I was covered and I was like okay this is just gonna keep on happening I what the fuck do I do I gives me a what the hell do I do I gives me a what do I do um the pilot finally uh, calls in uh, and lets us know that you know we're going to be landing soon it's this weather in DC it's this time in DC Thank you for flying off screen air, whatever, whatever, whatever. This man 
taps my shoulder again. Why he start talking to me? Why does this man start talking to me, guys? Talking to me. You know the, um, you know the, uh, you know. He said something like, is it okay if I contact you? I didn't give you my contact information. Like, I am so confused why after I've told you no over five times, you ask me, is it okay if I contact you? No, it's not okay if you contact me. I don't know who you are. You could be a rapist. You could work for, for an international trafficking ring. You could be, you could be a terrorist. You could be, you could be, you could be, you could be older than my grandfather, my dude. Anyways, I just, I flew, I flew, 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 flew out of the, um, out of the plane once it landed and went to the ladies room and stayed there for a little bit. Um, and then I thought, oh wait, I'm a US citizen. He's not. So I get to use a US citizen line when you go through customs and immigration and all that. So I'm never going to see him again. I was like, oof. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, that was my rant. Nine and a half hours of being freaking harassed after I've told you no. I, I don't get it. Other than that, my trip was wonderful. Um, I will see you next week, you guys. I'm saying goodbye right now. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I am back, I'm ready to give it a go. I'll include a little video clip of when I went to see the Grand Pyramids. There is no context to that clip whatsoever. This was me trying to vlog and me realizing it was not gonna work out. Um, and uh, I'll see you next week. Subscribe if you want, please. And share with your friends, I mean, yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, see you next week and thank you so much for hanging around. Uh, follow me on Instagram if you want. Um, I have way more pictures on Instagram than I will ever have on YouTube uh, for this Egypt trip. Duh. Besitos. Bye, you guys. Okay, you guys. So, this is a, a, it's not the Great Pyramid. It's the smaller of the pyramids. And a lot of tourism. As you can see. No, no, I'm so sorry. Oh, no, 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 thank you. There we go. No, no, thank you. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. Thank you. Oh, God. I don't know. Um, as you can see. Wow. Five dollars, two dollars. Oh. <laughs> oh hey, you want a camel today? No, thank you, sir. Later? No, thank you, sir. You later? No, no, thank you, sir. I'm fine. Been to more than a handful of Middle Eastern countries. Never ridden a camel. I've only pet them. I think that's slavery. I don't like slavery. Neither in humans. We're an animal. Wow.